When it comes to getting muscle as a vegan, it's really important to know a couple things and how to eat is one of them. Knowing what to eat, but also having the time to make it is really hard when you're on the go. That's why today is perfect because I'm gonna be showing you everything I eat in a day because the day is hectic. We're starting here at my friend Jared's house, he's back there, straight veg. And then we're going to be driving up the coast uh, until we get to Seattle. We're gonna be beach camping. Today is a hectic day. So I'm gonna show you everything we eat on the go because you can absolutely get enough protein in. Let's start with breakfast. All right, we're gonna make some breakfast burritos. So, starting with some onions and garlic, and then a frying pan. I'm using about a half block of scrambled tofu, so I'm just gonna break it apart with my fingers like this. All right, after that's cooked for a few minutes, we're gonna add some spices. So we're gonna do about a half tablespoon, half teaspoon of cumin, turmeric, and paprika powder. And then we're just adding a whole can of strained beans. I'm using pinto beans. All right, and now we do a little rappy rappy. You can do any sauce or you can do no sauce. I really like this Primal Kitchen buffalo sauce. So I'm gonna use this. And a little bit of some kale for the greens. You definitely don't have to do this, but do this. Crisp them up before you eat them. breakfast burritos ready right here. So obviously you don't have to spend this much time, but I'm at Mr. Straight Veg's house just for this morning, so I have enough time to use a frying pan. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. You could also like not crust it to make it you know, fancy, but yeah, anyways. Try this, my friend. And you as well, baby girl. Thank you. Too hot. It's, I think it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this, this guy, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's really good. It's good, right? Mm hmm. A little tofu scramble, a little buffalo, a little sing there. Good. Yeah. Super easy, but also, like, you can make these, take them with you, and eat them in the car. High protein, super easy. So, we're gonna eat these. Jared has to get to work editing. So, I'm gonna go to the gym. So, that's what I'm gonna do right now, and then I'll show you what I eat afterwards. <laughs> And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. All right, back from the workout. A quick little like snack basically until we get on the road. So we have some vegan yogurt. We got a cashew yogurt. A little bit of some soy milk for some extra protein and some of that Vivo Life protein. We have the strawberry vanilla flavor. All right, this could not be more simple. We're basically just going to mix these things together. Maybe like a tablespoon or two of the milk. So it's not too thick. A little bit of the protein. Okay, it may not look like much, but the way this are is really tasty. A bunch of protein. I'm gonna throw some basically like vegan Honey Nut Cheerios. These also have like a ton of protein. They're made from like pea protein. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna put these on top for a little bit of a crunch factor. Voila, super easy post-workout snack with a ton of protein in it. Okay guys, about to get on the road, but I wanted to shout out today's video, which is sponsored by Helix Sleep. So they make premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit our needs and conveniently shipped right to our front door. Uh, the last few days, we have been staying at our friend, Straight Veg, Jarrett, his house, and we've been staying on his futon couch, and I can definitely tell you my shoulders feel it. I really miss my Helix back home. Oh. So I've had my Helix mattress for like just over two years now. I genuinely love this company. As you guys probably have heard me talk about it in previous videos, I am a super hot sleeper and Helix uses materials that trap less heat. So it allows for better airflow through the mattress, which for me is impossible 
imperative, very important. Definitely one of the things that makes them better than the rest is that they have a personalized sleep quiz that you go online on their website, you answer some questions about your, you know, like your sleep preferences, what your preferred firmness of mattress is, what kind of, you know, position that you sleep in, all that kind of stuff, right? A few other questions, and then it gives you a personalized recommendation based off of that. And for me, it literally gave me the best one I could have picked. I'm a back sleeper, sometimes I end up on my side, which is not so great, but I need a firmer mattress because I definitely sink in, you know, being kind of heavy. And when I went through the quiz, it suggested that I get a Twilight Lux, which I got in a queen and it has been absolutely perfect. Like whenever my mattress actually does wear out, I will get this exact same one again because it is literally perfect. It's the best one I've ever been on. So they ship the mattress to your door completely for free in the US and then the mattress comes in a box, which you just slide into your room that you're gonna set it up in. You know, you open the box, slice open the packaging, the bed just folds open super freaking easy also if getting a mattress online is a little scary which i know it is different if you've never done it before they do a hundred night sleep trial where you get to try out the mattress and if you don't love it by the end of a little over three months you can ship it back and get a refund plus the helix mattresses have a 10 year warranty and they also offer financing options and flexible payment plans so if that is something you're interested in, you should absolutely check them out. They gave me a special link that will get you up to $200 off as well as two free pillows. I'll put a link in the description below. Check them out, you're gonna love them. Now me and Sammy need to beat the traffic and get on the road. Okay, so we're making a little pit stop. This is kind of a long drive today, and I feel like this is a really handy tip for people who are on the go. A lot of times there's just like nowhere to stop to get food, right? There's not like vegan places everywhere. Obviously we have like our Taco Bell as an option, but Subway is also a dope option. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm just gonna tell you a bunch of vegetables on a sandwich. Where do you get your protein in, right? But there is a twist. Check this out. Okay, so if you get a veggie delight or something like that, I think it's called veggie delight, right? Yeah, I think so. So you just get that without any cheese or mayonnaise or any of that kind of stuff. Just basically a bunch of veggies. There's a couple different sauces in there. I think we got the sweet onion sauce, which is vegan. But if you're us, we have a fridge. We have tofurkey with us. Or you could just stop at a grocery store real quick. They're pretty much everywhere. Now you can just throw your own meat on it. That's basically all that is missing is Subway doesn't have vegan meat. So we're just gonna throw our own tofurkey slices on there and it's gonna add 25 grams of protein just like that we have like a nine dollar foot long that has a bunch of protein all right and then look at that huh let's get a little taste test mmm so good huh do you like the sauce the sweet onion sauce is pretty good it's so good it's my favorite I think I would have put more buffalo sauce on it instead, but it's still really good. Yeah. You know, I just love acidity. Pickles and pepperoncinis just sing to me. And some people really don't like pickles. <laughs> I think that you are wrong <laughs> if you don't like pickles. <laughs> You're just wrong, but pickles are so good. So we got ourselves a little snack back on the road, and then we will make some actual food when we arrive. But it's a good way to eat on the go. Arr. All right, we are in a place called Des Moines. Planet Fitness is always a safe bet because it's 24 hours, but look how cute Sammy looks. Thanks, babe. Wow. <laughs> so, I wanna show you what else we do though, because we always find like a 24 or a Planet Fitness, that way we like have a guaranteed place to go. But once we land in a new city that we're gonna stay the night at, we do this. All right, so here's where we are. Back it up a little bit, right? So we are like kind of in Des Moines, Federal Way, a little bit out of Seattle, right? So what I do is I try to see if there's anything like more favorable to do. Sometimes there's like parks and stuff. So I'll just look around for parks. There's a couple parks right here. And then I'll zoom in and we'll kind of look around. This one doesn't look like a real park, but sometimes you'll be able to zoom in and see like, oh, okay, there's some side street parking. Also, sometimes we'll use iOverlander and it'll show you like places you can park, but it looks like there's like nothing right where we are. So also see if there's anything like near the water because it's nice to, you know, camp near water. Damn it. But I don't think there is. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hang out near the beach because it looks like there's parking spots here. There's no way we can stay overnight. I'm sure of it. But we're gonna go over here, hang out near the water, uh, probably make some food down there and then we'll come back to Planet Fitness tonight to sleep. So that's kind of our like order of operations. We always do a little scouting. <laughs>
Where are we? Des Moines. <laughs> We're such tourists. That's not even what it's called. Oh. The city's called Des Moines. Oh. <laughs> not Des Moines. Like we're in. Where is that place? Illinois? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the place above Utah. I don't know. Dude, we're such tourists. Oh my gosh. Anyways, we're at this beautiful park. This beach state park. Look at this. Very pretty. Even more pretty. Me and Sammy absolutely love water. Just being around any body of water. Where are you doing? Look, it's a shell clam. That's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> we love being around any body of water, for yes, sure. Yes, yes. I will say, and don't take offense, northerners, we have you beat. Yeah. In Southern California, we have the best beaches. We do. We do. But these north beaches are definitely like, they're different. They're rockier. There's a lot of mussels and clams and stuff. They're really pretty. Really like it. Yeah, what is that? Looks like a jellyfish. Remember when you were like a little kid? You poke it. <laughs> you, you would poke that? Yeah. What stick. if that stingers? With a stick or a rock. Remember when you were a little kid and there was those little Coca-Cola gummies? The little Coca-Cola yeah, bottles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that looks like. Yeah, it does. What is that? Is it not vegan to poke it? It's dead. Is it dead? It is dead, huh? That is super weird. That is a weird little alien. Yeah. Good eye. Yeah, I saw that. Huh? I was like, I want to poke that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys. Sammy doesn't like bananas. I don't know if I told you this. Uh, she legit has like a visceral yeah, reaction right. to them. They're so good, though. Um, <laughs> no. Give me a kiss. No. <laughs> They're so good though, what the hell? Do you guys like bananas? I know you do, because you're a vegan. A bunny! Look! Right there. Pop. Yeah, I cannot stand bananas. They're gross, their texture is just nasty. Here, have some banana. <laughs> the best thing is to do is this, watch. Mmm. That's so nasty. Come here. Get out of here. Come here. <laughs> 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 Ew. She hates the strings the most. Oh, it's so gross. They're not though. Okay, so now it's lunchtime. One of my favorite things to do is eat out at parks and stuff. It's just so much better than eating in the van. It's a lot of plane. Hold on. One eternity later. All right, so this is something that you can make at home and then carry with you pre-mixed or you can mix it, you know, got a park like I'm doing. This is a cold pasta salad, but it's gonna be even better than what you're thinking. So we have the last bit of a bag of kale. We're gonna use this to mix everything into. What we have right here is I pre-cooked some red lentil pasta. If you can find this at Trader Joe's, this entire bag here has 90 grams of protein. Believe it or not. And then we have some heirloom tomatoes to add some veggies in there, some carrots, and we have the Trader Joe's vegan Caesar dressing. Again, this is so good. This is my favorite dressing by far. So freaking good. It's only got a couple ingredients. Mainly it's like tofu, olive oil, and lemon juice, white miso. Oh my gosh, so good. And then we're using half a block of some tempeh we're gonna crumble up. This half block has 25 grams of protein. So we're just gonna mix this all in there. All right, now I'm assuming most, most of you are gonna make this at your house or at your work or whatever. But in a pinch, you can always do this with a salad bag. It's pretty sweet, ready? And voila, we have cold pasta salad. I'm gonna put it in the bowl now. Yeah, that actually looks so good. Ooh. So freaking hungry. Oh, speaking of English accents, we need to uh, message Miles back. How's crazy cool? Oh, yeah. He texted me this morning. So, okay. Let's talk on FaceTime, mate. Let's talk on FaceTime, mate. I'm just sitting here eating tahini out of a jar, and I thought of you, mate. Tell me 
that you wouldn't pay $23 at a vegan restaurant for this exact thing. Look at that. Look how easy I did. I literally made it here at a table, a picnic bench in the middle of a park. That's how easy it is. And this is gonna give me 45 grams of protein, something like that. It's also freaking delicious. So yeah, you eat this, enjoy these Pugets that are singing in the background. Over there we have water. We're living the good life. This is so good. I freaking love Caesar. Mm. Quisiera saber por qué no es romántico. Romántico. Again, what was you have in Spanish? You have. Ah. 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 And how would you say you have not? No. No. Ah. No. Ah. No. Ah. No, ah. How would you say, I would like to know why you have not prepared the dinner? So we're doing our little Spanish lessons with Phil Collins here. <laughs> <laughs> As per the huge, uh, snacking on these Trader Joe's. These are so good. Crisp, They're crunchy, so good. crisp. These are so sick. They got four grams of protein, only two and a half grams of fat per 17 pieces. They're so good. Super good. I love chips like these. Yeah, they're really, really good. Crisp. Crunchy crisps. Okay, so I know earlier in the video I was telling you guys uh, there's really important things when it comes to getting swole, and one of those is food, but also I wanted to give you guys a couple extra tips. Um, one, if your workouts are going over an hour, it can be bad. So like if it's 10 or 15 minutes past an hour, that's fine. Why are there so many planes? I don't know. <laughs> we must be like right next to an airport. I know. Five minutes later. So yeah, like 70 minutes, 75 minutes, that's still kind of fine, but if you're getting past that for sure, you're going too long with your lifting. I know, cause like it's like the more the better. Also, if you're in love with lifting, sometimes you just get in the zone, the auto zone, and you just wanna keep going and it's awesome. But there is an upper limit where you start stressing your body so much that you start releasing mass amounts of cortisol, which makes you basically have a hard time gaining muscle. Sometimes you eat up muscle when you have a lot of cortisol. You also gain fat more easily when you have a lot of cortisol. In addition to that, you also probably have like completely depleted your amino acid pool by that point. So there's just like a lot of things going against you. I have personally cut back because I was up in the 90 minute zone for my lifting and I've cut back and like literally seen significant improvements. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I feel like I've gotten a lot thicker just in the recent like maybe two, three months since cutting my workouts down to about 60 minutes. So I just wanted to bestow that lesson that I have reintegrated into my life to you because I, I'm telling you, it's gonna help a lot. Just go harder in those 60 minutes. He used to go to the gym for like two hours. Fact. He used to be at the gym almost three hours because he would stretch and then have a two hour workout. Don't hate the player, hit the game. Yeah. All right, I'm getting very hungry. It's time for, I think the last thing we're gonna eat. Boop, bada beep, bang, bada boom, bang. Cultivated white rice, spelt lentils and brown rice, and of course the base of stir fry. see I have shown this meal quite a few times but it's because we literally do eat this pretty much every single night stir fry this time with an extra bag of, of like the spelt and stuff just to carb it up get some extra calories in yeah this is like my favorite thing but sometimes repeating the same meals while can be a little boring for some people just takes away having to think too much about getting food that has good macros in it mmm mm. It's so good. So good. I love to cover mine in like chili flakes and black pepper. Sam thinks literally that black pepper <laughs> is spicy. Like actually spicy. <laughs> it's the most vanilla thing I've ever heard in my life. I like the Trader Joe's sriracha on mine. Yeah, you do. It's the only thing I put on it. And lemon pepper. By the way, this is 8.30 at night. Look, it looks like it's the middle of the day, but it is 8.30 at night. So we're actually coming close to our bedtime. We usually go to bed around like 9.30, 10.00. So we're gonna eat this, and then we're gonna start reading a little bit. Wow. 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 Wow.
lightsaber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Show my peanut butters. All right. We got a couple peanut butter jellies. What else? And we're about to read, son. I'm reading Star Wars Darth Plagueis. What are you reading? A Court of Mist and Fury. Okay, so it's the next day, which means that we are at a coffee shop because this is where we get almost all of our work done. So anyways, I hope this was a helpful full day of eating. Obviously, we are on the go. We are literally moving from place to place all the time. And one of the most important things when it comes to gaining muscle and staying fit is that you make it work even when things are difficult, even when your schedule is all over the place. And that's kind of why I want to show you guys how I'm eating, you know, halfway at a house, halfway moving through different cities, halfway out of the van, halfway, you know, at a coffee shop, things like that. So I've talked about it a few times in the past, but I am doing coaching now. So if you are interested in coaching with me, send me an Instagram DM. It's at Brian Turner official. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you beautiful people in the very next video. Sweet.